Hey y'all, it's your girl Renata Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to get into my go-to spring makeup look. Um, it's very simple, I think. It's like the thing I go to first, like if I got somewhere to go and I gotta hurry up and go or pack up my makeup bag and do a face in the car later. Like it's like my go-to things to pack. Like it is so simple, but it's so beautiful and effective. Um, I came across this look. I had did a cami, like a recreated like cami Crawford makeup look. And I watch Catfish often now, don't judge me. I watch Catfish often now and she's on there. And um, she wears a, some sort of variation of this look. Sometimes it's more of like a brownish, a nudish. Sometimes it does have more of an orange undertone. Sometimes it's more of like a medium mix of the two. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into this beautiful look. So here we go. I've already uh, moisturized um, like skin prep for the most part. I am gonna add um, some chapstick because your girl's lips are dry and that's not cute. And I'm going to um, prime my eyelids with this Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer. So I'm going in with my Pro Conceals, this LA Girl Pro Conceal to color correct, mainly around my mouth. I can find my mirror. Did y'all watch The Met? Real time of me recording this, um, it's the day after the Met Gala. Whenever you see this, let's act like the Met was just on the night before, whatever. So, um, I'm not like a huge fashion girl, but I do appreciate the art of fashion. So, I enjoy the Met Gala and I enjoy like other fashion things. When I tell you the Met Gala was something like, it was, it was a lot of things, it was a lot of things. It was exciting, but also underwhelming at the same time. First of all, I get the Met, it's like this long line, it's this long um, aisle and the stairs and it's a lot. So I get it, you can get it at all different angles. I just feel like whoever's broadcasting it needs the best angle because we the viewers are not getting everything. So by the time we the viewers see it, it's like you gotta flip between like two or three channels to get like whatever happened at the bottom of the stairs and then get what happens in the middle and then get what happens at the top. Like it's it's ridiculous, it's unfortunate. It shouldn't even be a thing at this point. Like, it should have been figured out by now. And I didn't know the Met was gonna be last night, if I'm being totally honest. I was doing something else and I was scrolling on Instagram or something and I saw people like posting behind the scenes or something like that and I was like, oh, it's tonight. The theme was, you know, to honor Carl Lagerfeld. The, the theme was dedicated to him. This pimple right here, let me tell you something, this period pimple, came into town yesterday and decided to stay with me, of all people. Um, and you know, it's gonna be here a while and I'm just trying to embrace this unwanted guest um, gracefully. Uh, but it's been, it, it itches. I don't know, I've, I've tried the things, I've cleansed it, I've tried the things, I've tried to like lightly moisturize it and not put all the things on it after I cleansed it. At this point, I'm about to like put some alcohol on it or some peroxide because I gotta dry it out, it's, it's itching. It's very uncomfortable. Anyway, but instead of like talking about the negatives of the Met, let me say like the things I loved. We're gonna start off with Tom Brown. He's the designer. When I tell you it seemed like he made the Met Gala his own personal runway show, he had nine people. Yeah, he's he 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 designed for nap for nine people. And when I tell you all nine of them hit and all the pieces were very like cohesive and complement each other as if he was determined to make the Met his own runway show. Like it was, they were amazing. Out of his whole lineup, and I'm only talking about Tom Brown stuff. I'm not even beginning to talk about nobody else's. The, uh, what's her name? Jenna Ortega? Yeah, Jenna Ortega. I've seen her face. I don't know her work, but I've seen her face, of course, a few times. Um, what she had on, oh, absolutely beautiful. It was so beautiful. I love like the layers of it, like the different levels of it. I like the detail. She was given like baby doll in the face, but like fashion, just it looked amazing on her. And um, 
I just I really loved it. Like that's something I would love to even wear myself. Like it was it was so it was so nice. I love like all like the pearl detailing and stuff. I like the um bobby socks. I think they're called bobby socks. Um, but I liked I, I just love the whole entire look. So there are a number of ways to get this simple eye look, and the only reason why I'm mentioning uh, the various ways you can get it done is so that it's to encourage you to use what you have. You don't always have to go out and purchase something to achieve whatever look you see. So uh, the basis of this color for me is orange. Um, with my skin tone and everything, it just looks better on me and that's why I gravitate so much towards it. It's great. So I'm going in with this um, orange eyeshadow. This one is by Ingla. It is the number 15 but it's this really nice orange and it has flecks of gold underneath it um that like uh that sparkles through if you don't have an orange eyeshadow an uh, orange like shimmery type of something um look at your blushes and see if it's in your blushes um i'm first gonna start off with this uh nyx eyeshadow though i can't begin to tell you what the shade name is because i put the magnet thing on the back of it it's one of those individual ones and I put the little magnet thing on the back, so it's covered up the name. But it's like a, it's like an orangey brown. I don't know what else to. So, um, but back to the to the make out though. He style Pusha T. Um, Pusha T's look was nice. I feel like it wasn't so much like a standout for me, but it was more for me. Pusha T suit was like a. Um, it played a role in making sure like everything was like cohesive together. It wasn't a bad suit. It was a nice suit. It was definitely different from just a black suit, which is, you know, which is good and pretty adventurous for like the men. Um, like they actually participated this year. The men participated at the Met this year. I will give them that. That was nice to see. Um, but yeah, so his suit was nice. It's not like, oh, took my breath away, but like it was nice though. He styled so I don't wanna ooh, if I say her name wrong, please forgive me. Sora Choi. I hope that's Sora Choi. I I really hope that was right. But man, what she had on, I can't even begin to describe. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I mean the dimensions of it, the I think there was like an extra cape while she was on the red carpet, well, well white carpet, whatever. While she was like making her entrance through there, I think there was like an extra cape there on it. Like, oh man, it was so beautiful and so nice. I really loved that on her. I think it complimented her body well and um, also, and didn't like just swallow her up or nothing. It looked really nice. Of course, the details was nice and beautiful. And then I'm going with that uh, Ingla eyeshadow that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to actually use my finger instead of a brush. It just, I get the color payoff easier and faster this way. So I'm doing that. I'm going to dot it mainly in the center area. And I'm going to go pretty high up because I have that fold of skin that's going to like come over it. And just take it up however I want to and I can clean the rest up later. It is not a huge deal, I promise. And now I'm going in with just a little bit of um, gel liner on an angle brush. This is an Inglot gel liner. Especially if you're working, like doing your makeup on the go, in your car or something like that. This just gives me way more control than a liquid ever would. Uh, me and liquid liner, we have our good days and bad days. Um, but me and gel, we're always good. So I'm just gonna um, line my upper lash line. Maybe give a little bit of a wing today. Yeah, I'm gonna do a wing. And I'm just stamping it across versus just creating a whole line from jump. And then I'll go back and fill it in. You can also do this liner with an eyeshadow, a black eyeshadow or um, like a charcoal a darker gray black type of eyeshadow you can also do this with a pencil you don't just have to use a, a gel liner so i'm gonna go in with like these knockoff demi wispy lashes that i have um but if you have like something light like the um ardell demi wispies yeah i think yeah demi wispies um those are pretty much the ones that i'm using today so there's another um guy he designed i mean he he dressed his name is shy I do not want to mess up this young man's name. I refuse. So he has a hyphenated last name, but the second part of his last name is Alexander. 
Um, his suit, oh gosh, his suit, it was so nice. I don't know if that was a cape, if that was supposed to be like just a normal, like, you know, the base of it. It's like a, um, a, a, a blazer, a sports coat, like just taken to a whole nother level, but it was so it was so nice I have no clue who the guy is it was beautiful like once again the detailing on it that's what's setting these things apart making it look so nice oh, when he just stood there with it on it just it was given royalty like it, he just looked so nice it looks so nice on him I am just popping on an end piece of this lash it's not even a full lash when I tell you it's an end piece I mean it's about half of it maybe less than half and then Tom styled, like, it was like two looks that I wasn't like, uh, blown away by, but they went with his collection. So, you know, it was cohesive in that way, but I, I definitely was not blown away by them. I'm starting to notice that he styled way more people than I thought. I think he styled like another two or three additional people than what I thought. So he really made the Met his own runway show. He was like, I'm not playing with y'all this year. He also styled Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah had on a really nice black suit with like some detailing in there. To like at first glance, it looks like just another black suit. So it was nice. Um, <laughs> Trevor Noah just looks nice, period. Um, but he just looked really, really handsome and nice in his suit. Per usual, he did style Janelle Monae as well. Janelle, Mo Janelle Monae, I love like her outside coat and her bag that match, the little dog bag that match. That was super, super cute. I feel like I was way more into the look before she took the jacket off. Once she took the jacket off, I was a little underwhelmed. I mean, if she just wanna serve as body, she can serve as body and not even give us the cut like, you know, leave the hoop skirt somewhere else and just give us body because she got body to serve all day. But um, it's just, you know, the hoop skirt and, you know, I get it. It had the rhinestones on it and things like that. But I really like that jacket um, over top of it uh, more so than when she took it off. For concealer, I am mixing the milk concealer with the Fenty one. Um, I really do like the milk concealer, so I did order the lighter one so that I can use it now. This one's a little too dark. It's a little like more so summer friendly. So uh, and I had that one on the way and I'm using the Fenty one because it is the right shade that I would use right about now. So I'm using the Fenty one to like make up for like the color part of it. And just dotting that mostly on the inner part. The grand finale of like his whole runway show cause that's what I'm gonna start calling it. The grand finale of his runway show um, that was hosted at the Met Gala uh, was Tiana Taylor. Let me tell you something. Who, if you ain't seen it last night, I'm sure you've seen it by today. Tiana Taylor in that dr oh, I don't even know. It was just, it was breathtaking. It was amazing. It was absolutely stunning on her. Like, we already know she won't give us body. Like, she can't do nothing but serve her body. She can't help it. That's that's just what she do. The way the dress hugged her, the way, like, the cutouts of the dress, like, it was like a suit, but a dress, but with cutouts. And the back was out. That was pure art. Like, it was, it was amazing and beautiful to see. Like, I'm still not over it. Not just the suit dress, um, the tie detail, the sparkle detail, it had like the gloves on it, you know, like it just, her hair, her makeup, the, um, I don't know what you technically called it, but like the netted piece that was like over her face, the whole thing, it was everything. It was everything that was just required and necessary. I did not contour first cause I'm running my mouth and that was every bit of my intention was to contour first. Tiana Taylor, she shut that thing down. It was everything. It was absolutely amazing. It was stunning. The whole look, her whole team did great. Like, it was absolutely amazing. I keep telling y'all I'm not a true fashion girl, so there may be some background and things that I am unaware of. I don't have the credentials to make the critiques, but these are my opinions and what I liked and didn't like. But the things that may have been um, off brand maybe, um, but were still like super beautiful though. Uh, Yara Shahidi, oh, 
she looked like a goddess like she looked so pretty i love the um the color they used against her skin tone it looked so beautiful um i like the construction of it how it like draped on her a little in some areas like that was really nice i thought it was so 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 pretty of course her makeup was amazing per the usual when is it not <gasps> our little mermaid hallie bailey oh she looked she gave us Hollywood. Like, she just looked so glamorous and beautiful. Like, whew. She looked amazing. Like, she did not come to play anybody's games. Her hair was great. The makeup is always amazing. The dress fit on her beautifully. I really loved that on her. She looked so nice. I hollered when I saw Viola Davis. I hollered. Like... She looked so beautiful, like her hair, her skin, the color of the dress against her skin. Oh, she just looked so good. She, you know, she was smiling. Like she just looked, she looks like these are probably like the best years of her life. Like she just, I don't know. She's just to me oozing joy, like in life general. She just. She just seems to be super happy. Like she looks so, um, she just looks so good. Two things, you can either do some liner or on your lower lash line, or you could just take some brown, a really warm brown um, eyeshadow and swipe it on your lower lash line and not do liner. I'm gonna do liner though. Let's keep this orange going. We're gonna use this orange blush. The one I'm using today, it is the, Makeup for everyone in what is this 515? Yeah, 515. And it is a cream blush, but you can use whatever blush you have. I'm going in with my brown lip liner per usual. This is my color pop. You can use whatever uh lipstick you have that has like an orangey type of a base. I'm using very little. I'm gonna top off with a gloss because I'm just a glossy girl. This is one of the little mini, what is this, Fenty Beauty Glosses, it's called Cheeky, yep, Cheeky. And this is the finished look. To me, it's super simple. If you were packing your makeup bag to like do your makeup on the go, you're packing like your normal um, foundation and, what is it, concealer and things. As far as like eyeshadows and blush and lipsticks, you're packing like an orange um, eyeshadow, an orange blush, and they can be the same things if you know how to do it. If you can, you know, you're packing a lipstick with like an orange base. Um, you're packing an eyeshadow to like, I guess, get into your crease area and warm that up. But honestly, you can use your bronzer for your crease area as well so that cuts down on products as well then you're packing like your eyebrow stuff your mascara your lashes if you are wearing lashes and a gloss and your lip liner that's it oh an eyeliner that's it to me that's a pretty small mega bag oh i did use some powders so like whatever like you know setting powders you have going on it's you're not packing much it's a simple look you get it done fast only reason it took me so long today is because I was talking about the Met Gala. And speaking of the Met Gala, there were so many other looks that I love, but I had to get this out. The look that Lala Anthony wore, ma'am, Lala Anthony looked like a well-traveled, wealthy woman who has lived some life that if she feels like it is a cougar, like... She looked so good. Her body is always bodying, but she just looked so good. Like it was so simple. It was white with like the draped gold chains on it. And then the hair, the sunglasses, like the little headband, like she looked so expensive. She looked good. She looked good. Okay. I absolutely loved her. Her look, it was one of my favorites of the night. I think the only thing I was really missing from the Met Gala, remember how like some of those dresses would give you like a performance on the carpet? So like somebody would wear like, what was it? Blake Lively had wore a dress one time and it was like one thing and then it transitioned to another dress. I like those. I like when like the dresses transition into something else as they make their ways up the stairs. Like 
that was the only thing that I feel like I was missing personally but I thought it was a good show I enjoyed the fashions that I saw um, let me know in the comments below if you watched it and if you did what were some of your favorites um, also let me know how you feel about this look okay how you feel about it do you think it's really that easy or am I like doing too much and y'all like girl this is not easy please thumbs up this video and do not forget to subscribe and I will see y'all next time in the video bye